assume you do have an empowered product team. So we've, we've done the hard work of making sure the beliefs of the culture are, are there to support that and we're actually working that way now. Those big four product uh, risks that you mentioned, I believe they were um, feasibility, viability, usability, and value. Right. right. W- what is the hardest one of those to address or which one should you be focusing most of your effort on trying to, trying to satisfy or reduce? Well, I mean, the first thing to realize is if you don't address any one of those uh, and it's important, you'll have a failed product. So any one of those can kill you. So table stakes is to consider all four. All, but, you know, the truth is a lot of times different risks are not very risky. It's not like we know how to build this. There's not a feasibility risk. We know how to design this. There's not really usability risk. The one risk that is the one that bites most teams is value. Value is the hardest one, generally speaking. Um, I I used to say that with a lot less hedging, but today so many of the teams I work with are trying to apply machine learning technology. And in those cases, feasibility risk is like the number one risk for them. The value Mm -hmm. isn't really the challenge, it's feasibility. But for most situations, it's value. And, you know, value is really two, two things. It's one is, does anybody want it at all? That's demand val- uh, validation. Does anybody, even if you solve this problem better than anybody in history of mankind, you know, will anybody buy it? That's demand risk. But the harder part of value is, no, we, of course we know people need this. They're buying other solutions. They're just not very good. The real question isn't, is it valuable? The question is, is our product solve that problem? (laughs) Does our product solve that problem better than everybody else to the point where people will choose us Mm -hmm. and switch to us? That's the hardest part. In fact, Ben Horowitz likes to argue the reason product is so hard is because your product needs to be perceived as on the order of 10 times better in order to get people to switch. Well, that's a pretty high bar, 10 times better. It's hard to even quantify that. But it sure is, it's easy to see that it's got to be perceived as significantly better if you want people to switch to your product. And honestly, in a nutshell, that's why most products fail. That's why most startups fail. They just don't hit that bar. It's not valuable enough.